And now it's time for the round table. Live from KDJW Radio, it's time for the round table where we talk about food, people, places, things, and so much fun stuff. On tonight's episode, David Wise talks about Melrose Diner, Philadelphia's number one restaurant. So spend with the next 15 minutes and hope you enjoy your programming. And now your host, president and founder of DJ Wash 5 and DWP Productions, David Washington. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is Mr. Charlie Martin, our new announcer for the roundtable. And we bid you good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the roundtable where we talk about, yes, food, people, places, and all that sort of good stuff for Friday, um, September 21st. 2012. Um, I we we were supposed to do this at eight o'clock in the p.m., but uh, the news is I have a Phillies baseball game tonight to go to. Oh, really? You have a baseball game to go to tonight? Yep. The Philadelphia Phillies are playing against the um, um the 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 Mets, the New York Mets. I don't like the sound of the Mets. We're gonna dump right in the first place with those guys. You can say that again. And hello there, Chuck. And David, hello there. Hey there, how you doing there, David? <laughs> I'm doing okay. Well, before we begin, before we begin our topic for tonight, we have some news with Tom Bearcroft, and here it is. Good evening, folks. This is Tom Bearcroft for the newscast. Fans of the McRib will have to wait longer to get their fix this year. McDonald's will not roll out the popular pork sandwich in October. As in the past, in, a, in an effort to boost year-end sales, a memo obtained by Ad Age says, after looking at ways to strengthen the fourth quarter 2012 OP A and D calendar, close quotes, it'll have, it will be on the menu in time for the holidays in late December. The memo also said that in place of the McRib this fall, the McDonald's chain will will market two brand new products. The cheese, the, the cheddar, bacon, onion, Angus burger, and a similarly dressed chicken sandwich positioned as medium items with higher prices. McDonald's specialty sandwich is made of boneless ribs, <laughs> shaped as a rack of ribs, and did we mention it was boneless? <laughs> Smothered in a... Smothered in a barbecue sauce topped with pickles and onions on a toasty bun. Has a cult following a complete with blogs and Facebook pages tracking its every move. The McRib is part of the well-shaped McDonald's brand and in fact its own brand and its successful is dependent on its own scarcity. And, was that again? Oh, yeah. Uh, and according to the Ad Age McDonald, according to the Ad Age, McDonald's is holding out the star performer in hopes the product will drive sales to meet those of December 2011, which were up at a whopping 9.8%. And that's the news for tonight. I'm Tom Bettercroft. David? Um, thank you very much for the news, Mr. Barracroft. Now it's time to go for our weather on the outside for the weekend with David Roxborough. David, take it away. Partly cloudy with a low of 62 tonight. Saturday with, on Saturday morning through afternoon, a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 2 o'clock. Oh, sorry, a chance of showers after 2 p.m., partly sunny with a high near of 82. A chance of showers for Sunday, partly sunny with a high near of 74. I'm David Roxborough with the weather outside on KDJW Radio. David, back to you, please. Thank you very much. We have so much to do in so little time, so you better hang on tight to your seats because the round table will be back and these important words on KDJW Radio. The Roundtable will be right back after these important words right here on KDJW AM 1040.
Hello there folks, this is Chuck Strongbacks. Are you tired of paying retail markup on great products like drums, cymbals, and other quality stuff? Or even jewelry too? Well, look no further. Come on down to South Street and 7th at Society Hill Loan. Get your unique brands today at low costs. And I do mean low costs. It's great. It's a great store to get to. And remember, you heard it from Chuck Strongbacks on KDJW Radio. And now back to the roundtable with David Washington, Tom Barracroft, Chuck Strongbacks, David Roxborough, and Chuck Davidson. Welcome back to the round table. And we're so honored to introduce our newest member of the KDJW family flock, Mr. Charles Martin. Good evening, Charles. How are you doing, sir? Well, David, I am doing okay. It is a nice night to do your round table programming. Um, it's actually 5 o'clock or so. That's right, Mr. Martin. It is actually a little after 5 o'clock. PM, Philadelphia time, and um, other stuff. <laughs> well, anyway, we're going to be talking about the most incredible place ever, Melrose Diner. Oh, yes, I heard about Melrose Diner. is a great place to go to for country fresh eggs, um, chicken sandwiches, and also, of course, the famous coffee. You wanted to hold out until you get there? <laughs> Oh, that's a great pitch there. Anyway, Melrose Diner is located at 15th Street, Snyder, and Pashyunk in South Philadelphia. It's been around since 1935, and we're going to read about it right now. Here it is. Melrose Diner is a veritable South Philadelphia institute, best known for its friendly service, delicious baked goods, and iconic shared booths. Melrose Diner has been a Philadelphia staple since 1935. And here's the best part. Melrose Diner is open 24 hours a day, so you can get custard-based French toast, potato boats, and famous buttered cookies whenever you want. Mingle among Philadelphia patrons, neighborhood devotees, local political local politicos and late night partiers with shared booths and 24-7 service you never know who you'll be swapping stories during your meal but you should check it out for yourself as the famous slogan goes everybody who knows goes to Melrose that is right and I love the theme music of theirs but I have some sad news what is that David I can't get the theme on because we don't have any time and I and I'm have a I have a game to go to tonight. Oh no. Oh yes. But anyway, you can hear it on YouTube or simply go to famous56.com and check out the links for the Melrose Diner famous theme music. I love that theme music. I even heard it when I was a little kid when I was listening to Oldies 98.1 WOGL, one of my favorite stations. Hello, Valerie Knight. Hello, Ross Britton. Hello there, Frank Lewis. And hey there, Bill Zinfer. Keep on that knucklehead news. I'm proud of you folks. Yes, yes, that's right. Keep up with the knucklehead news. We love to hear it every morning. We swear by it. Darn right. Guys, you said it better than I ever said. Well, anyway, Melrose Diner, come on down and see that place. It's a great facility there. I like the country fresh eggs, the um, the turkey sausage, the mashed potatoes. I like what are you, the chicken cutlets, whatever they got. Everything so get on down there. South Philadelphia, you can't miss it. If you're on the Broad Street subway, get on down there to Snyder Avenue Station and walk a block west. That's where you can find it. Melrose Diner. And we're going to go there to later on after the show is over. And David, for you to go home and get ready for the Phil's game. Oh, yes. You got your Philadelphia apparel? Yep. I got my Phillies cap. I got my big red Philadelphia Phillies t-shirt. It's a long sleeve shirt, not a short sleeve. And last but not least, to top it off... <laughs> 
the cap of the Philadelphia Phillies. No New York Mets, no Yankees, just plain, old-fashioned, lovable Philadelphia. And that's the way it's going to be. Amen. Amen, David. I, I got a witness. You know it, baby. <laughs> well, we're going to have some closing arguments, so you better stick around for more of the roundtable. Ooh, I love that funky music. Thank God it's Friday. Ow! We'll be right back. And coming up next on the roundtable, David and the crew with closing arguments about Melrose Diner at Snyder Street, Pass Junk, and 15th. We'll be right back. Hey there, folks. This is Chuck Davidson for The David Show. And guess what? We're heading down to Washington, D.C. You better stick around because we have exciting guests and special fun stuff about what's happening in D.C. So you better check it out on after Christmas and after New Year's in the in the month of, um, what's that again? It's January. Thanks, David. January 2013. Stick around for the David Show on KDJWTV5. And now it's time for some closing arguments of the David Show. I mean the round table. <laughs> Thank you very much, Charlie Martin. And that's right, we have some closing arguments about the store, the biggest Philadelphia franchise, Melrose Diner. Let's begin with Tom Barracroft. Well, there, I have no closing argument about Melrose Diner as a great Philadelphia staple. Chuck Strongbacks. I have no closing argument about Melrose Diner. It's a great place to go to to eat and to mingle along with plenty of people from Philadelphia and who knows and who knows who, right? Indeed. Chuck Davidson. Well, since I've been here in Philadelphia for the past, um, I don't know, about the past two months, I have grown accustomed to Melrose Diner, so I have nothing to argue about, baby. <laughs> David Roxborough. Shut the front door, David. I have no closing arguments about Melrose Diner whatsoever. And as for me, folks, I don't have anything to... I don't have anything for a closing argument because Melrose Diner is the best diner in Philadelphia. Philadelphia loves it. Philadelphia swears by it. And I guarantee you, it's the best diner in all of Philadelphia you wanted to see. I don't know who's number two. But I gotta say, Melrose Diner is number one! I like that speaking voice, David. Really? You sound a bit like Charlie O'Donnell. <laughs> well, thank you, David. Wheel of Fortune! Wow. Shut the front door. He can do it, huh? Yeah, he's a big Charlie fan. And speaking of Charlie, um, can he close out a show, sir? Indeed, David. This is Charlie Davidson for the... I mean, this is Charlie Martin for the David... For the Roundtable. Like us on Facebook, Channel 5 Philadelphia, KDJWTV. Like us on... Follow us on Twitter at djwash 5 philly And our email address is wdjbphilly04 at gmail.com. David. Well said, sir. Well said. Well, for Tom Barracroft, Chuck Strongbacks, Chuck Davidson, our new announcer for the roundtable, Charles Martin, and David Roxborough, we thank you very much for joining us on this wonderful Friday afternoon. Well, have a good day. We'll see you later. Goodbye. Oh, yes, and help your kids do their homework. They want to get some good education, you hear? A mind is a terrible thing to lose. So help me. Goodbye. Thanks for tuning in for the roundtable. If you'd like to have any questions or comments, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, send us an email, or simply just put a comment right down on the comments list. This is Charlie Martin for the David for the Roundtable, a DJ Watch 5 DWDP production.
This is KDJW AM 1040, Philadelphia.